everyone welcome back to cyber security tv uh, this week we'll talk about the hash length extension attack uh, i'm assuming that you have a basic knowledge about what the cryptography is what the difference between the encryption and the hashing what are the different uh, hashing algorithms how how are those operate if you don't know about it uh, check out the videos i have linked in the description before you proceed here and please hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment on your feedback how you feel and, and also share your knowledge for the security community uh, okay, so back to the topic. Uh, the hashing is one way, while the encryption is two ways. So in the hashing, once you once you hash the data, there's no way to retrieve it back. Uh, and several applications using the hashing, such as MD5, for generating the authentication tokens. And oftentimes, as a pen testers, you would try to decode those tokens, and you will not get any success, and then you will like you know not proceed by doing anything further so today i want to i want to talk about one of the advanced topics so when you come across such as hashing like you know tokens and and uh, of course you have to like you know get some knowledge on how do you identify which hashing algorithms have been used by the application when you see the token because it's not very obvious it might be some trial and error uh, again we have talked all of these about in the previous videos once you see this token uh, like you know that there, there are possible ways you can bypass authentication and sometimes do the privilege escalation that's what we're gonna see in video today uh, hashing uh, to prevent like you know um, manipulation to the hashing uh, we have Mac validation which is message authentication code and what it does is uh, before uh, the hashing like you know the before the hash is computed and when the hash is received it checks the like it computes the Mac validation code or the Mac code and it compares against it and if it doesn't matches then a uh, server will reject the hash so our goal for today is how do we change the hash and then how do we make sure the Mac still validates the hash right so that's that's our goal going to be in today's video uh, so okay so let's start with uh, what we're gonna do so uh, first of all we will uh, we'll, we'll take one application which I have developed intentionally vulnerable so we'll, we'll take the output of the hash uh, we will append our payload which we want to bypass the validation or bypass the auth z uh, we will do uh, recompute the hash and then that way I will make sure we bypass the message authentication code validation uh, the only thing when you are doing this process the only caveat is you need to know what is the secret length uh, so generally when you compute the hash it's the secret and the data right so data of course you would know or whatever the data that as an attacker you're gonna change your payload that's something you can always figure it out but the secret is unknown so and and after the secret so uh, for example there's a 64 bytes of uh, uh, token then then secret could be like you know uh, 12 bytes or 8 bytes that's something you have to either guess or you would have to know before you can perform this attack so i'll also show you how that is uh, that can be done uh, the tool we're gonna use today is the hash extender uh, this is the tool uh, which is open source and we will use to compute our rehashing uh, the token and perform the auth seed. so let me uh, go to the VM and I'll show you the demo on how this attack actually works so uh, here is the application uh, which I want to show you so as you can see here uh, this is the request and this is the response and uh, this is the token uh, which I have received here right as an authentication token so I have logged into the application however if you see here it says welcome guest and it's cool that you're logged in but unfortunately we cannot only we can only give the flag to the administrator let me to the administrator so we are not logged in as a administrator now i do not have a password on how to log in as administrator so in this case how do i bypass this uh, of course you would think like okay instead of guess you will just change this administrator but that will not work because that will fail uh, the mac validation uh, because when the server recomputes the hash it will detect this change in payload and uh, the token here and it will not be able to uh, verify and it will fail so uh, actually let me show you uh, that example real quick so what we did now is I changed the username from guest to the administrator I sent the request and the response came as something was wrong with your auth cookie uh, and click here to log in again Right, so that uh, essentially did not work, and and we were not able to bypass the Mac validation. 
so what we're gonna do is uh, first off uh, let me uh, go back to our previous request what I'll do is I'll just copy the entire cookie and I'll go to the decoder I paste here and I have decoded as a URL decoding now as you can see here uh, this is the token or probably the secret uh, uh, this is the username and uh, the guess which is being used uh, date of the request uh, secret length 12 so here it's clearly showing the secret length uh, usually this is not the case uh, this international vulnerable application so just to make a demo easy I have showed it here but sometimes you have to guess it now is the hash extender tool to bypass this so these are the options uh, which uh, we have uh, we can use to bypass but uh, before that uh, some of the options that we are going to use are like of course not all of this would make sense for us uh, we are only uh, going to use some of those and this is where I'm gonna demonstrate so this is uh, what we have and some what, what we're gonna use is this is stands for secret so here we're gonna uh, like you know put a secret uh, this is the append so what payload as an attacker you want to append in order to bypass some validation uh, the first one is out data format so we want this to be in the HTML form uh, then what is the algorithm that is being used uh, of course you have to verify uh, you have to detect which algorithm that the application is using in this case it's using md5 which I know that uh, then what is the length of the secret key and then of course the actual data uh, that uh, like you know was received from the application uh, okay so uh, so this is the uh, actual token that we are using here so let's uh, place it here what we want to append of course uh, we want to uh, bypass this as a uh, like you know be, be as an administrator so I'm gonna enter m percent username is equal to administrator and then I'll put another M person here uh, algorithm I know this is MD5 length we all know this is 12 and data is something I'm gonna copy from here so copy and paste okay so I think this is uh, going to be our input to the program and let's copy the output that we receive uh, the new token and try to bypass using that so let's paste this here verify everything looks good press enter and this is what we have received as a new string so this is a new signature so of course uh, the old signature is of no use uh, and this is so let's make sure I'm copying this first and put it here then copy the and copy this and we have to append here now the one thing we definitely want to make sure here is uh, if you see there is no real uh, so if we go back here and see there was two characters or space or like this pipe sign which we did not capture here so I'm gonna append that here and I think this looks good we can now pass this to our uh, payload or as a new cookie and see if we can bypass this alright so what I did is I copied that string and, and pasted here as you can see this is the new signature then the characters that we added and then this is the new data and then we send and it says congratulations you are the administrator here is your reward you win right so this is the easiest way uh, we were able to bypass the actual authentication on how uh, the cookie or the md5 was used to manage the authorization of the application uh, of course there are so many options in the hash extender you can also use it for SHA-1, uh, MD4, SHA-512 of course uh, uh, the caveat I already mentioned you need to know the secret length so that's all I, I wanted to uh, uh, like you know teach in this video uh, if you have any suggestions anything please drop it down in the comment also uh, also share your knowledge on what other attacks interesting attacks that you have seen or uh, like you know you want to share with your community or any uh, the next week I'm 
covering another advanced topic uh, which you guys might also like it uh, so let me know uh, or any other topics that you also have in mind uh, i'll try my best to cover those as well so that's it for this week uh, thank you so much for your time and i'll see you guys next week bye